official station of the Pirates. We're tracking all things ECU this football season. Joining us now is Jeff Charles, voice of the Pirates. Nice to have you with us thank again you, this Maria. week. Thank you, Maria. Good to have you here. Well, thank you. Yeah, trying out football today. So, Jeff, let's start with the huge game this past weekend. I was there. It was so much fun. Amazing crowd. How would you describe the atmosphere? Oh, it was unbelievable. One of the best atmospheres I've ever seen in East Carolina in all the years I've been here. And uh, wow. almost 52,000 people there, as we all know, second largest crowd in the history of Downey Ficklin Stadium. And the people were going crazy. And of course, they all went home happy, except for a few of those Wolfpack fans who were there with a great win for the Pirates. Yeah, seeing the red leave the stadium with those disappointed faces, but... Who cares? Yeah, Purple well, the Pirates top, won right? and they played great. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. And the guys are both offensively and defensively played so well. And going into the game, the big matchup was how well would East Carolina's mm -hmm. offensive line hold up against a very good North Carolina State defensive line. Four of those guys could play in the NFL. So that gives you an idea wow. how good they were. I thought East Carolina's offensive line did a great job. One of the reasons why they won the game. Absolutely. So this was the Pirates' sixth straight win over ACC yes. teams. So what do you think? Is this going to put them on the map, or do they still have more work to do? Well, they still do because they go down to South Carolina, of course, this week. Yes. And then after that, it's Virginia Tech. That's another oh, yeah. ACC game coming up. So really a couple of uh, tough games on the road. Now, this team has played very well at home. So the, the challenge will be how well will the Pirates play on the road coming up with these two road games this Saturday and, of course, next Saturday, too. Yeah, so speaking of those games, what do you think is the biggest thing the Pirates have to work on at this point? Well, one thing they're going to have to do, Maria, is they're going to have to handle the crowd because there will be yeah. 80,000 people at williams Bryce. We've been there a lot of times before, and that, that place goes crazy down there. So they've got to be able to do that. And then they've just got to play their game. They've got to play a clean football game, as Coach Montgomery said yesterday. No turnovers. You can't go down there, fumble the ball away. You can't go down there, throw a bunch of interceptions, have a bunch of missed tackles. Got to really play well in this game because South Carolina is an SEC team. They have SEC talent. Right. The Pirates will have to play extremely well down there to win the game. They've not won again down there since 1999. Whoa. So they're due. They've lost three games in a row to South Carolina in Columbia. So we'll see how they do this week. Well, now that they're 2-0, and hopefully they'll have some good motivation leading into this weekend's game. Let's hope so because yes. the guys are they're playing with confidence. You know, you win okay. a couple of games like that, you start right. to play with some confidence. Go with the momentum. Exactly. All right, Jeff Charles, voice of the Pirates, thank you so much for thank joining you, us this morning.